happy friday good people and welcome to my weekend vlog we're gonna spend some time together this weekend i'm motivated to vlog this weekend because i'm home <laughs> for a short period of time this has been the biggest travel season probably of my life but you know i'm embracing it because this is what we prayed for uh and i just been outside girl i've been outside but we're home this weekend and it is a great weekend to be home because as you hear the birds are chirping and also y'all i'm out on the balcony because the weather is absolutely beautiful in fact it was about 75 degrees today in the dmv really too hot for this sweater but you know the news the weather what's that i, I really check these things I, I expect for the weather to conform to my outfit and 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 not the other way around so as I mentioned, today is a Friday. Uh, I just got back home from a really lovely time with my girl, Bernice. Y'all know Bernice, we spent the weekend together. Um, well, she was in my weekend vlog, I think sometime last month. Um, we went out to eat, had a good kiki, and while we were out to eat last month, Bernice, she and I have the same piercings. And I was like, oh girl, those are so cute, who did it? And she said, oh, my piercer, the shop is called uh, Freya. I work with a guy there named Matt, you should go. So sure enough, since I had some time today, uh, I booked the appointment and we met up there. I just walked in and said, I want a piercing girl. I, I barely knew what I wanted. Um, but I'm just really into the ear candy these days. It kind of is becoming my thing. And so on this side, I really wanted to get this space here, which is called a rook rook piercing done but they told me that this area felt too small for them to pierce and so I said okay no worries I've always wanted to get my third hole on my right side and so I went and I had that done instead and I got a snake because for some reason I'm just obsessed with gold snake jewelry uh, and it's small and I love the way when they pierced it he did it so that it goes he, he angled the piercing so that it goes up my ear and it kind of sits up a little bit higher than my other piercings and so from the front you can actually really see it and so you know the good part about being a bald-headed scallywag is that all of my piercings can be seen and so he tried to get me to get a tragus on this side and I was like mm, it's something about that I'm just not feeling like I I want the rook piercing so I'm gonna consult with Maria Tash the next time I'm in Miami or not Maria Tash the icon but the people who work for her in Miami and get her opinion on that but otherwise happy with my third load piercing so happy with my 14 karat gold jewelry don't have to worry about taking that off um and then we went to a place called smashing grapes for lunch and the food was good again it was such a beautiful day so we had a really good time sitting outside Bernice and I both had a drink mine had like watermelon pure ray in it and hers was like a strawberry pinot grigio cocktail if you were in the dmv if you were in the dc metro and you were on the maryland side smashing grapes definitely is is a great restaurant um i think they have a good brunch as well she mentioned and so that was dope had a good time with my girl she's so beautiful and amazing and i just woke up y'all not in the best space to be honest with you and when i finally was able to pull myself out of bed i just made a commitment to having a good day i said you know what god today is going to be an amazing day because i said it and i have been actively working towards that all day so much so that i'm on the balcony now like i said enjoying this amazing weather and i'm about to sit down pour me up some of my wine that i brought back from napa that y'all would have saw us uh, grab in the napa vlog and just sit out here and do some editing it is six o'clock um so happy that we have a little bit more sunlight and i am going to sit out here i'm going to enjoy some wine i'm going to work on uh sunday's youtube video and then tomorrow i'm going to go work out y'all and i'm going to hang out with my girl janae high low lux and we're going to just shop we're going to eat good and just enjoy the city i haven't been in dc in a minute so i'm looking forward to that I live right across the bridge and so I don't always get a chance to go into the actual city anymore even though I used to work downtown 
different story for a different day. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, we'll just see kind of what, what else we get into this weekend. Today's outfit was so amazing, y'all. Um, I am obsessed with it. And y'all are gonna be so proud of me, girl, because I'm trying to do more color. Who is she? I don't know her. It's a brand new me. So I got this like chartreuse sweater while we were in Napa. I got that from Anthropology. Anthropology does great knits, by the way, and it was on sale. Um, and I just kind of wear it off the shoulder because it is, I think I probably got a large or something. I got it from the sale room. So I knew it was gonna be oversized, but I didn't mind. I am also wearing the, um, Margella jeans with the slits on the side and my boots that y'all ask me about all the time over on Instagram because you've been seeing them in my videos which is the green Chiari boots with the gold heel y'all I told you sis was sending them to me and I got them <clears throat> after the black owned brand spotlight video and have been obsessed with them and I don't often like you know color block and mix colors but that color combination the chartreuse with the lime green so nasty so rude girl I didn't even care that I was hot girl I saw Bernice Bernice was dressed for Miami I was dressed for New Hampshire she was dressed appropriately i was not but it didn't matter because we had to build the outfit around the boots right? so she was pressiana today okay um and my outfit also helped to kind of give me a little bit of boost of energy but that's today's ootd uh let me have my wine literally wind down for the evening and i'll see y'all again tomorrow Good morning. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I'm looking out on the balcony now. I'm gonna take y'all out there so you can see how pretty it is outside. Just, you know, spring is upon us and I am excited for that. Uh, slept in this morning, y'all. Today is Saturday and I just needed to rest. So, slept in, that felt great. We have blackout curtains in the bedroom and I told on Ray, just close the curtains and shut the door, sis. That's all I need right now is rest um and then once i got up of course i needed coffee so i had my coffee um did my skincare routine this morning um included my glow aesthetics products which i shared with y'all in the best in the black owned brands if my discount code is still working to save 15 percent off i will make sure that i um include it down below somebody um quite a few people actually asked me if the discount code was inactive or not working it is but you just have to create a profile on her website in order to use it so i use quite a few of her products but i definitely love her cleanser her moisturizer her sunscreen i mean you can't go wrong i'm wearing her sunscreen now and as you can see 
no white cast um and uh, after my skincare routine i just wanted to sit down and ease into the day um read a little bit and y'all oh my god i am in this month's issue of the washingtonian yes this is a, such a full circle moment for me because growing up, I wanted to be a model. People would always ask me if I played basketball or sports of any type, and I do not have an athletic bone in my body. And, uh, you know, that kind of gets to you when you are my height and people look at you like you are an anomaly. I mean, I've been almost six feet tall since I was in middle school. And, uh, um, you know, people look at you like you are literally you know, an animal at the zoo, the amount of times in a day that people would consistently say to me, oh my God, you're so tall, you're so tall, you're so tall. And instead of the next conclusion being, you're beautiful, are you a model? It would always be, do you play basketball? Anyway, let's just all touch and agree that we are not going to consistently talk about the way young people look. Good, bad, ugly, indifferent. It doesn't matter uh, what happens with a young person's psyche is that they start to deduce certain things from those conversations that they should not. I should have just been allowed to just be tall and that's it. Especially because I was so academically driven and inclined and, and really it just an astute student and that didn't matter right it was do you play sports so I wanted to uh, be a model and I wanted to do something in fashion for so long which is how this platform came about I took a very different path to get here uh, stopped at law school got a law degree passed a couple bar exams and then got here right um, but for me it's a testament I'm never giving up on your dreams because everyone's path isn't intended to be linear and in fact I think my not being linear means that I appreciate this moment so much more and also so um, I found a way to make it work for me. I don't know if I would have, you know, skated off to New York uh, at 16, 17, 18 years old if my life would have been any better. You know, some would argue it may have been worse, especially because that wasn't at a time where models or people in the industry were creating their own brands, right? You were a human hanger and you had to be part of a certain aesthetic, which I do not fit into, in order to really be successful. Um, and so what has happened is, instead of waiting on an opportunity from someone else, I created my own opportunities. And so when the Washingtonian came calling, I said, oh yes, 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 she is, she, she is the CEO of politics and fashion, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I just did McKenzie's mom. But, you know, we all got a little bit of her in us. So, yeah, I shot with my photographer, Marissa. Marissa Rose Photography, who is everything. So, um, I submitted some photos that they wanted me to submit. They chose one that I absolutely love with the Zara top and the Nasty Gal pants. Um... And then I put together three outfits that I felt like represented a spring trend that I loved, which is statement denim. And I told them that it was really important to me that uh, black designers were included. So they included a Hanifa sweater as well as the Noel pants that I suggested. And so I feel really good about that. If you were in the DC Metro pick up this month, March's edition of the Washingtonian. I don't know when this vlog is coming out, so I should stop saying this month. Marcia's issue of the Washingtonian magazine. Now let's go outside so we can take a peek at what's out there. My house is a mess y'all because we have been getting work done and I actually want to give you a sneak peek. We literally have contractors in and out almost all day. Um, Amre has been managing that because I haven't been here so bless her heart. But take a look at this beautiful day. Winter wear. I said wear. I will show y'all the bathroom in just a bit, but we just had to go outside and just get a little bit 
of those beautiful vibes. It's a little windy today compared to yesterday, but I'm still about to get out here without a coat, okay? Shoulders gonna be out, and I'm going to manifest the spring that I want to be here. <laughs> to be here so i'm gonna sit down do a little bit of editing and then the next time i'll see y'all will be in dc i'm gonna take a uber just because sometimes it's easier than finding parking especially if i'm going to be out having a cocktail etc want to be safe so i'm gonna take an uber into the city and just you know kiki and have a good time with janae today so i'll see y'all in a bit Running just a little bit late, y'all. I had a call with a new admin team that I'm going to be onboarding very soon. So, so excited to have Key and Cash as part of the politics and fashion team. So that maybe I'm not always running on fumes. <laughs> so, you know, you just have to do the work up front to make it easier in the long run. Running late now, but very soon I will be right on time. In fact, ahead of schedule. Anyway, girl, OOTD is like this. I am wearing the Ruslan Baginski hat. This one is the straw version. I actually saw this on my good sis, Jeronica, but all her friends call her G, Masia, uh, and she had it in a darker tan. Immediately I knew I had to have it, okay? And this is the first one I feel like actually looks good on me. Uh, I'm going to throw on the Free People, kind of like oversized retro sunnies. These are just like blue glasses. They're not really blocking nobody's sun, girl. The top is by Aj. The pants, y'all already know, are by Margella. Uh, I am wearing my vintage Fendi sandals. I got these from a consignment shop in Miami. And let me show you, because they have a little peak of blue right there so I figured because my top was white I just wanted to make sure that I had a little bit of color on my shoes and then we are going to do the OG triple OG the Dior book tote size small haven't pulled her out in a minute because I was just trying to rest her because you know we we don't want a dollar out all right and this is the full look oh wait one second y'all forgot to tell you Earrings are Natia and Lacco, of course. And then got my new piercing on this side. But head to toe. Here's what she is giving. I hope to God I am in focus. If not, girl. Oh well, because I gotta go. My Uber's downstairs. Bye. We found Miss Janae. Hello, Lux. It's a look head to toe. Hey. Janae, those sunglasses. I just want to wear sunglasses. Oh. Believe them here. It's all about these. I mean, they were just, they were so cute. And they were so, like, I got these for like 300 bucks. Oh, they're, wow. like, they're like 800 here. Exactly.
Hey good people, today is a Sunday, another day in the spend the weekend with me vlog. Yesterday you saw me hanging out with Janae and Josh. We had a blast. Janae is the shopping partner that we all need uh, because she's going to get you right. You're going to make good choices with her. And so I saw a couple things that I absolutely loved. We started off at Dior with my friend Jarrell, who I love to shop with. I've mentioned him before. If you were interested is shopping at Dior and you don't have an essay, highly recommend Jarrell. Hey friend, hey. Uh, met Janae there. Um, we saw some sunglasses, played around there first, um, and then we went to shoes. I saw the Dior like classic slides in orange and I am hip to that shoe. We've seen it before, but there's something about that orange that just made me love it. Maybe because I'm having as you can see a moment with orange. Uh, then we went upstairs, played around in some ready to wear. Janae tried on this amazing sheer top with like this bib in the front. So the entire shirt, including the sleeves was sheer and then the front had like this white panel. Dior is ready to wear. Y'all already know, I go up for it. Uh, then we went over to Chanel. So my friend Mallory who works there and we played around mostly in shoes um, and there is a pair of shoes speaking of orange that I think I might have to have y'all because on a day like today it's probably about 55 60 degrees like you feel like it's warm spring is peeking through but you don't necessarily always want to wear a sandal and I saw these orange suede like sheer they could be grandma, they could be Easter Sunday, but it depends on how you style them, okay? Like little pumps. I still think I need these. So let's see, Mal is trying to get them in for me, but that may be part of the spring haul. Um, so yesterday as we were eating at Fig and Olive, had some great cocktails. We also talked about meeting up today because Janae actually has a campaign. So I just shot a YouTube video um, and I'm about to get out the house and meet her at Neiman's and just, you know, shop around, do our thing before her and Josh head out of town. So let me show you what I am wearing. So I am wearing the sweater that you all would have seen from Anthropology in the Napa vlog. I put on my Dior brooch with it. Natia and Lacko earrings that I've been wearing all weekend, of course. And I have it kind of half tucked into this new pair of pants that I got from Farfetch. They are by Totem. And I have been wanting something from Totem for a while. These are a cotton and a linen blend. Y'all know I love trousers. They're high-waisted. A little big, but I will get this. Them, the waist taken in soon. What I was most worried about is the hips and they fit great. My shoes are uh, by Dolce Vita. These were actually gifted. So thank you to the brand for those. I am on their PR list. And I love the idea of wearing like a block heel. And they are like this gold lame, which I feel like picks up with the gold in my jewelry, but a nice neutral. Metallics for me are a really great neutral. Um, if I was like wearing this in the evening or if I want to dress it up, I probably would also wear my gold Bottega clutch. But instead, I'm just going to wear my Dior book tote and be because the weather has dropped, I'm gonna throw my coat on and this one is actually great for this time of year. So let me show you. It is the Sandro Baby Blue Coat. Just something to add another element of color since everything else is so neutral and with the blue in the book tote, I think it is going to be a look. Let's get out of here. We're on location. I have just accepted the role as Janae's stylist. No one asked. <laughs> but here we are. Yes. Head to toe, yep, we're loving it. That whole Alice and Olivia moment is it. It's everything. It's everything. All right, on to the next. I brought my popcorn for the occasion. Hey good people, it is a few days later. Girl, this uh, weekend vlog has turned into a week vlog. Uh, not that you've seen where I've been. 
but it is a couple days later all right uh last time uh, you saw me i was with janae we were at neiman's she was trying on clothes for her campaign everything she picked was so amazing when i got there she was trying on the orange that orange Alice and Olivia suit. And it's so ironic because I had just seen that suit on, I think, Intermix or something. And when she put that thing on, girl, I said, yeah, you, you need to go ahead and catch that thing right there out. It was so amazing. But everything she tried on, I, I, I loved. Like, she just has the style. She's chic. And I just sat down, girl, and ate my popcorn. I don't, you know, I keep a snack in my bag. I, that was not planned. But at my age, you can't get caught out here with low blood sugar. So for years, we've laughed at my mom because she always has like a neutral grain bar, like a granola bar. So like if we're out and we get hungry, my mom would just reach in her purse and get a, <laughs> and grab a bar out. And you know, you turn into your mother. So I don't leave the house, especially if I'm going someplace and I don't know how long I'm gonna be there without a good little snack. Uh, and I happened to have had some popcorn and you know I, I got the munchies and I just sat down and and enjoyed uh the show with, with with my popcorn as Janae was trying on all these amazing pieces um she had pulled sunnies she had pulled shoes it, it, it just was really good and that Tyson's that we were at which is in um I mean that Neiman's which is in Tyson's that we were at um they have a phenomenal phenomenal shoe department and I actually think maybe because you know as we are transitioning for spring they had an abundance of shoes I've never seen their shoe department that full so the things that <clears throat> either Janae had pulled or they had pulled for her were really like the season's best um and so i was really excited just to see some of the pieces that maybe i'd seen online or on youtube irl and see how janae styled them so y'all stay tuned for her campaign i'm sure it's going to be amazing i don't know if it's going to be out um by the time this video drops but it was really nice to spend time with her and josh as i've already said and so i rushed home that was on sunday i rushed home um finished my description box for my YouTube video, got that up. We were in the chat box, in the premiere chat, girl Kiki and y'all already know how we do. Uh, y'all were dogging my Margella. I didn't get the Margella Tabby Loafers. I'm still thinking about them, okay? And Bernice and anybody else who's in the chat trying to dog my shoes out, listen, fashion is for the what is it the beauty is in the eye of the beholder okay now leave me alone about the camel toe margellas i digress <laughs> and girl i had to pack because uh, i took a red eye to indianapolis um and i drove from indianapolis to bloomington with my best friend and her daughter my niece uh because faye kimmy you may have already seen on youtube is a ballet dancer she is an exceptional dancer uh y'all helped to fundraise and i'm so grateful uh for her summer intensive at the dance theater of harlem thanks to you all she has her room and board her tuition all of that is secured so thank you thank you thank you but she's also because she's exceptional um very very like math and science and just I don't understand the child she's a unicorn okay like she's just her acumen academically is on a different level and I thought me and her mama was smart but like she has she she got a 30 on her ACT and she forgot to study and she didn't eat breakfast this is what she told me she almost like got the highest score possible. Anyway, girl, so we went out to IU, um, Indiana, and uh, we visited not just their ballet program, but also their engineering program, because I told you the girl is brilliant, okay? So she's probably, uh, she would double major there, and um, the school, the campus was amazing. Everything say the art. We just let her lead the show, ask all the questions. Me and her mama was just worried about, okay, so how much this gonna cost? And being like the person who is part of so many children's lives is so exceptional for me because I get to participate in major milestones, but I, I don't have the debt. Last year, my god baby Leah graduated kindergarten. This year, her sister Marley is getting ready to graduate from fifth grade. 
um, Faye Kimmy is dancing, Dance Theater of Harlem coming up. And um, Taylin is getting ready to graduate from Clark and has, child, too many offers for Ivy League institutions to name. At this point, we got Yale, we got Harvard, we got Princeton all on the map. Um, so he's having a signing. He told me he was having a signing party as if he's going to the league. Uh, <laughs> To determine where he's going and Taylor, by the way is my younger cousin who's like my nephew um and i talk about him all the time on ig as well so that's like a lot of big things happening in my life with the children or the young people in my life and i'm so blessed to be able to take part in those milestones to be front and center and then you know they, they go off and they're their parents day-to-day -day responsibilities and girl but let me tell you something being a rich auntie not wealthy yet but that that whole like lifestyle the rich auntie is is just it is for me it was created for me because i'm a ride for your children so hard but when it comes down to the day-to-day -day, i'm not gonna be able to feed them I, I don't always have just basic essentials in my home i'd be i'd be surviving off of water and trail mix you see what i'm saying so day-to-day -day parental responsibilities are not for me but i'm gonna fly out and i'm gonna go on a college visit with you Anyway, uh, so that was amazing. And now, girl, I am back home and I needed to wrap up the vlog. <laughs> so I just love y'all hanging. So we're going to wrap this thing up. But before I do, uh, let's get into this bathroom renovation. Y'all come with me. If you watch my home tour, you would remember that there was no door here. The bathroom was definitely very like 70s hotel style. Uh, we are still in the midst of getting all of the final touches and details done. So that's why you see the white on the outside of the door that will be painted, of course. But for now, girl, just get into this barn door. We really, really want a barn door. I think it makes the room look chic. It makes it look elevated. And I love kind of like the um, panels here that are opaque. And so that's really, really dope. And let me give you a sneak peek of what it looks like on the inside, girl. Finally a door though. Hallelujah. It's the vanity for me. We want a color. Y'all know we love color. We decide to keep the wall color though more neutral, but we definitely have a pop of color with the vanity. And now let me show you the tile in the bathroom. The tile in the shower has this texture to it, which I think is so amazing. And it has the different colors of the marble effect. We got some brown, we got some gold. And again, I think it looks really nice with this light kind of mint gray color. I will show you all uh, more very soon, but here is a sneak peek. I cannot wait to show you all of the ins and outs and take you through the process as well. If you have not seen my home tour, then you probably don't know how bad the bathroom looked. Like that is such a remarkable upgrade and we didn't have to knock any walls down to get it done. And so one thing I will say until the full reveal is that I had been thinking that working with an interior designer was just completely cost prohibitive. And I didn't know where to start myself. Um, Ray didn't know where to start. And so we just kept saving, 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 thinking we needed this astronomical um, sum of money. And once we finally talked to someone and we finally got an estimate, um, I was just pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with what we were able to do within a budget and also the way that we were able to get an upgraded bathroom without having to do a total gut reno and so i will share more about that with you all very soon but in the meantime girl i'm about to sit down get some consulting work done film a couple youtube videos and that is it for this vlog y'all have an amazing day if you have not already please subscribe to my channel follow me over on instagram for daily style and self-care inspiration and i will see you good people across the internet Peace.